Sharonda, and I am Sharonda Parker, the owner of the PPG store here in Baton Rouge. And basically, Sex Talk with Sharonda um, is a show, and we talk about different topics to help you with sexual health and wellness. So I just want to give everybody a chance to log on. I tried to start a few minutes early today just to make sure that I wasn't having any technical problems with Facebook because for the last few lives that I've done, I have been having some serious, serious problems. So it looks like we are good. And now I'm going to log on on my iPad. And today we are going to be talking about if he born in a bedroom. If she's born in a bedroom, when you're dealing with people who do not like toys in the bedroom, we're going to be talking about different forms of stimulation that does not require a toy, okay? And we're going to talk about um, just different things that you can do to still enhance your sexual experience with a person that, that just might not be as open as you are. And we're going to talk about, you know, how you got to kind of pull them along and how somebody has to be the person in a relationship to, you know, sometimes bring that extra oomph to the bedroom. So I'm going to give y'all a chance to be able to log on. I want you to invite some of your friends, especially your married friends. Invite them so that they can get this information. So I'm going to make sure that I'm logged on. And if you're out of town... Anything that I talk about, you can purchase it online at www.thepppgstore.com. All right. Okay, so I'm able to see everybody on here. Let's see. Okay. All right, y'all. So, let's just say this. Um, with the internet... Uh, with Facebook and Instagram and uh, just computers in general has allowed people to be able to explore other options sexually. Meaning that the internet has basically made it easy for people that may have thought about different fetishes or different uh, things that they want to do sexually. It has made it possible to expose people to all types of things that they probably wouldn't have ever thought of, okay? I do a lot of my research on the internet, but I do a lot of fact checking too because everything that you see on the internet is not always real. Um, another thing is porn is so um, accessible on the internet, okay? So a lot of times in a marriage or a relationship, you may have a couple where when they met, one person was on this level sexually, the other person was on this level sexually, but then one person stays here and the other person kind of elevates, but the other person's still here, okay? I see this all the time. I see this every day. And a person try to figure out, well, what happened? When did the change take place? You know, why all of a sudden you want to do something different? It's because this person, somewhere along the lines, they've been exposed to something else, Okay? And basically now their mind is open and they're willing to try other things. When Fifty Shades of Grey came out, you had a lot of uh, women that love to read. Fifty Shades of Grey came out, you had women that were like really losing their mind, wanting to have the shit that Christian Grey was doing to this woman in the book. Now all of a sudden, oh yeah, I'm willing to lay across your lap and let, let you spank me. Oh yeah, I'm willing to uh, put some Benoit balls in my pussy and walk around with them. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm willing to um for you to strap me up with a straw ball. But these are all things that people had no knowledge that ever existed. But in this industry, these items have existed for years. It's just that now people have been made aware that they exist, okay? So, I don't want you to make the person that you with feel bad because they not on the level sexually that you are on. I have women that come in and say, he don't want nothing that vibrate in the bedroom. Fine. You can stimulate him in other ways than with something that vibrates, okay? There are different forms of stimulation, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. How you can stimulate somebody. There's a such thing as mental stimulation. Like, you can put on something so sexy, okay, and have a person's mind completely gone 
just by your appearance. And believe it or not, you have stimulated them in a mental way. It didn't take a, a vibrator to do it. It just took for you to put on something completely out of your character. If you normally wear, just say, regular lace lingerie, do, do a character type lingerie. And when I say character type lingerie, be the sexy nurse. Be the sexy man. Be the sexy schoolgirl. Now you done became a whole character that he wasn't even expecting, right? We have this game called Sex Scenarios. You can put one of those outfits on and all of a sudden I'm just going to read one of the scenarios. Pretend that you are a doctor and your patient has come to you for a routine checkup exam. However, the patient is making sexual advances towards you and it's clear that she wants more than just the physical. During the exam, tease her with your hands, finger, etc. Then use your tongue to bring her back to an orgasm. Guess what? I just started rolling and it ain't take no vibrator to do it. Another hospital promotion. The hospital needs a new head nurse and you just happen to be the lead doctor who can decide who gets the promotion. You have made it clear that the main skill of the head nurse should be their ability to give head. Here go another scenario. She got her nurse costume on. She could either be the, uh, the, the, the patient and doctor and nurse or she could be auditioning for the head nurse position. But you have just brought something different to your bedroom that you normally wouldn't do. Am I, am I right? I need to know. Light this up. If I'm telling the truth, light this up. Let me know that you hear what I'm saying. Because I see people all the time, but I don't see a lot of dialogue. I need y'all to ask questions. I need y'all to comment. I need y'all to invite people. I need you to press the like button if you like what I'm saying. If you agree with what I'm saying. This is how I'm able to get the feedback to know that you are following what's happening. Another thing. When it comes to dealing with somebody that is not as advanced, I want you to take into consideration we are down south and most of our followers are from down south. Okay? A lot of times we are raised to believe as women that certain things is just unacceptable. If you are a lady of a certain character, if you are a godly woman, you know, these are the things that's kind of thrown out there to us. If you're a godly woman, you shouldn't be doing this. If you're a good Christian woman, you shouldn't be willing to do that. If you're a proverb, this is off limits. Come on now. So you married her because she was good and wholesome. And she hadn't been around the block a few times. And you ain't heard about everybody being with her. Well, guess what? You got you somebody that might be approved in the bedroom. And she don't know how to turn up because she ain't had no experience. That's what happens when you get with these women that don't have a lot of experience. You got to teach them. When you get with a man that don't have a lot of experience and all he been dealing with is facts and women that ain't require nothing and they able to lay up there and get them a nut real quick, you got to teach them, okay? Other type of stimulators. These are finger stimulators. You slide these over your fingers. You can stimulate the clitoris with them. It don't require no vibration. You can stimulate the nut sack with them. You can stimulate his nipples with them. Ain't no vibration going on. So if the issue is you ain't bringing no vibrator in the bedroom, you ain't bringing no bullet in the bedroom, these are other forms of stimulation that still get the job done. Other things. If they don't want you bringing nothing, invest in a position book. Because you don't need to know a lot of positions if he don't want to do nothing else. But fuck, you, at least you're going to be able to switch it up and change it to some other than missionary and doctor style and writing. It's more to sex than missionary, which is you laying on your back, doctor style, which is you on your knees, and writing, which is you on top. I always have to check and make sure ain't nobody at the door. It's more to it than that. Invest in a position book. Because you need to know how to be able to put his ass or her ass in different positions. So that you can catch this nut in different ways. Get on the edge of the couch. Get on the arm of the couch. Yes. Get on there. It's amazing. Put your washer to use. Put it on, put it on 
cooling, tingling, warming. Lip balm. Put it on your lips. You kiss him. Now his lips are tingling, cooling, or uh, uh, warming. He go down and eat the pussy. Now the pussy cooling, warming, tingling. You go down and suck the dick because it's already on your lips. Now the dick is cooling, warming, tingling. These are different forms of stimulation that do not require a toy. We got the straps, which I absolutely love. And everybody always scared of shit like this here. But strap my ass up. Put me in a position to where I can't move. Make me be good, goddammit. Make me listen. Put me across your motherfucking lap. Yes, spank me. Yes. See, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Having fun in your bedroom. It's all different kind of shit that you can do with these straps. And these ain't no toys. These are just simple straps. Mental stimulation is a motherfucker, y'all. When you got somebody mad mentally, you got them. Another thing, I'm going to put this down because I want you to be able to see it. This position pillow. Put you in all kinds of positions, baby. Blow this sucker up. Take it to the Be Quick and blow it up. Take it to the local gas station and blow it up. When it's blowed up, keep it at the top of your closet. So when you get ready to pull it out, see, you ain't got to use, this ain't for the use this in the bed. No. This is when you want to turn your living room, your motherfucking living room. You get out there and you work every day to pay bills at a house. And for some reason, y'all feel like y'all can't fuck all over your house. And I have never understood that. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to move the motherfucking coffee table out the way and you're supposed to have that whole big ass flow in your living room available to you to fuck in all kind of positions. And you need to tell the motherfucking children at a certain time don't come your ass out the bedroom. Because if you come out the fucking bedroom, you're going to see some shit you don't want to see. See, these are the kind of conversations you got to have. But yes, this motherfucking position pillow here, this is a motherfucker. Blow this motherfucker up and put it in the top of your closet. And when you get ready to pull it out, he see the pillow out, he know one thing. Oh, we fucking in the living room tonight. We, I'm about to play twist in that pussy tonight. Yes! Let me see, let me see, I'm trying to see. You got some and you never used it. Don't come up in here buying shit and don't use it. If you come up in here and it was, uh, it was, Enough for you to spend your money on it? Use it. You're not going to be disappointed. Stop being scared to try something new. Position pillow. This one is $70. $70. And it got handles on it. Oh, baby. When I tell you got handles on it, see, you can prop that ass up and throw them legs back and hold on to the handles of that motherfucker. And baby, when he get to throwing that dick off up in you, you get to throwing that pussy back on it. Y'all got to learn how to have fun. I, let me tell you something. I, now, you know people be asking me to come up in there while they fucking them and, and coach them. But I ain't that bold to come up and watch you. Because I didn't watch people have sex before. And that shit just like, that was kind of, it was kind of disgusting to me. And I was kind of, you know, I was like, uh-uh. I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't with that shit. I don't like watching people fuck in front of me like that. I don't like the smells. I don't like all that uh, uh, body fluids and shit. I don't like it and it's just my personal preference so i ain't about to come and be a sex coach and no you can't call me on the phone while you're having sex and ask me and you is you doing it right i told plenty of people don't call my name during sex and don't call me while you fucking it just sounds too much like phone sex to me so no i'm not participating but i sometimes i be wishing i could make a video and just demonstrate all of the different shit you could do with these position aids because y'all be missing out. Y'all, y'all really be missing out. Y'all, y'all can really have a good time, but you be missing out. What you say? I gotta put it on before we start. Oh, baby, let's see. He put my dog, my vibrator, my dog strap away. What the fuck you mean he put the dog strap away in the vibrator? Okay, I guess. I don't know. But again, you might be dealing with one of them ones that, you know, they don't un understand the importance of turning up. And when you pick them, 
You know, you can't get mad at them. You just got to say, that's just my little boring husband. You know, and you come up with different things to do to be creative. That's all you can do. But uh, it's all kind of scenarios. If you was into this sex scenario, baby, these scenarios have you doing all kind of shit. It's a whole bunch of them. You just put them out there and you pick one. This it's over 50 cards. It ain't got them 52 weeks in a year. If you pull one of these cards every damn week, it'll take you a year to play this game. At least you know you're getting some dick one time a week because you got to play this game. I mean, come on. This position book says every day in every way. This is 365 sex positions. Ain't no excuse. Ain't no excuse. Oh, and another thing, I forgot about hot stuff. Y'all, I love green apple. And I'm so grateful that they are starting to make shit in other flavors because I was really getting strawberry out. I, I get tired of everything being strawberry. I just want to thank the person that understands that green apple is an awesome flavor too. This is the green apple hot licks. I absolutely love it. It tastes just like motherfucking Jolly Rancher, but I love it. Love, 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 love. Send your questions. Yeah, actually, I'm actually thinking about doing a video with this position, this position pillow, fully dressed, of course. Um, and I'm thinking about doing one with the door swing because a lot of times people always feel like I'm too big for the door swing. Oh, my door gonna fall down, or I'm scared I'm not gonna do it right. So I'm thinking about um, in the future letting my husband uh, take a video with me using the door swing, probably on his back door up in his room up in here. Just so it's enough room and you all will be able to get, um, you know, a full understanding on how to use it. Um, okay, well, it looks like you all have sent all of your questions at this time. Please make sure you like and share this video. And I, I just want you to, I had to tell my husband this a, a couple of months ago. I learned when I was um, when I was working for child support enforcement. A lot of times, that's a very hostile, uh, frustrating environment because you're dealing with money, you're dealing with all kinds of stuff. And I had to learn that you get more with honey than you do with vinegar. A lot of times, the reason you're not getting the reaction that you're looking for from your significant other is because how you're presenting it to them. If you take your time and you put on this sexy made outfit with the little duster and you put your heels on and you put on your favorite song and you come out there with confidence, they can't do nothing but respect that. They can't do nothing but enjoy that. They can't do nothing but enjoy that moment, okay? So stop going into it with this negative mentality that you're going to look silly or, you know, they're going to look down on you or it's going to be a waste of your money. Your relationship can never be a waste of your money. You signed up for eternity with this person. So anything that you invest in in your bedroom, it's an investment in your relationship. Anything that's important to you, you don't mind investing in it, just like your kids. You don't mind investing in them playing Little League and sports and all of this kind of stuff because one day your child might be the next this, be, be the next bit, this, this, that, the other. But you invest it. And you got to treat your marriage and your relationship the same. And if you agree with what I'm saying, click that like button to let me know that you hear what I'm saying. Your relationship is an investment. And you got to be willing to invest. And when you come into my store to invest, don't ask me about no motherfucking discount for no black people because when you went to the motherfucking dollar store, you ain't asked them for one, okay? When you go to Walmart, you don't ask them for one either. So when you come up in here, support us 100%. If you are not local, go online to the website, www.dppgstore.com. I enjoyed chopping it up with y'all today. That concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. I will see you all tonight um, with my husband Spencer. And I'm thinking tonight we're going to be talking about um, measuring the dick for a cock ring. Because a lot of people want to wear cock rings, but they don't know what size to get. And then they be unrealistic about it. And they want to get the bigger cock ring. And then all of a sudden it's like a fucking hoop.
little hoop on the dick and it's not supposed to fit like that. So I think I really need to teach people how to properly measure themselves for a cock ring. And it's going to require some math. You're going to have to use pi 3.14. If you know what I'm talking about, that means you know about circumference. So that means that we about to really, you about to see the teacher side of me because y'all know I used to be a school teacher too. And I was a math specialist. So now you're going to see the other side of me. You know, I know I talked about my child support days when I was an enforcement officer. Tonight you're going to see the teaching side when I get to pulling out the measuring tape and the calculator and the paper and we're going to get to measuring these different damn dicks so that you can see how to measure yourself for a cock ring because uh, a cock ring could really make the difference in your sex life especially if you're having some erectile dysfunction issues so that concludes sex talk with Sharonda I enjoyed you all come see me here at the PPG store I will be glad to help you uh, assist you with turning up in your bedroom okay thank you all